<laughs> you know, see, one thing for sure, two things for certain, the trash always take itself out in dollars. The trash will always take itself out in dollars. Lil Brunson back at you with the back at you, and I am the best reporting on the Eagles. The Dallas Cowboys just got destroyed, destroyed at home by Jordan Love and the Green Bay Packers. Destroyed. I keep telling them boys that they ain't them boys. Completely destroyed. Destroyed, exposed. I laughed at every single minute of it. That home field advantage don't mean nothing for the Dallas Cowboys. Nothing. It's January. Y'all forgot. Y'all forgot. Dak Prescott, two interceptions in the first half. One pick six to the crib. One pick six to the crib. Y'all do all that woofing every single year. All that woofing y'all do, man. Y'all win a division this year that we absolutely gave you. We, 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 we folded and gave you the division. Just for you to go out there and get and get shit beat down your legs by Jordan Love and the Green Bay Packers. Embarrassed yourself. Averaging 30 points a game at home. Getting smoked. Almost a 50 burger put on your head at home by Jordan Love and the Green Bay Packers. I loved every single moment of it. Every moment of it. Michael Parsons always running his mouth. He just was talking about a playoff team, a, 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 somebody in the playoffs last year. If my film showed up like that on number 23, man, y'all out the playoffs, man. Y'all home. Y'all on the couch before MLK Day. I get so tired of these delusional Dallas Cowboys fans. Y'all been the biggest frauds from the jump. I've been saying it all off season. The Dallas Cowboys, all season, the Dallas Cowboys been the biggest frauds from the jump. They've been breezing by because the attention been on us. But now it's time for us to seize our moment. It's time for us to seize our moment. Because you know what them doing? With them choking? With, you, you, you know what this ultimately does for us? We don't got to go see San Fran. Not saying that we scared. Not saying that we scared. But we don't got to go see San Fran. We get to go see the winner of, you know what I'm saying? The Lions and the Rams. Who we could beat. We could beat both of those teams. We just got to handle our business against the Tampa Bay Buccaneers. We just got to handle our food against the Tampa Bay Buccaneers. The Dallas Cowboys are so garbage that a home playoff game is still within play for the Philadelphia Eagles. Still within play for the Philadelphia Eagles, a home playoff game. If the Rams beat the Lions, the, the Rams will have to come to Philly if we beat the Bucs. That's how sweet this is panning out for us. That's how sweet this is panning out for us. Your season over, Dallas. It's over. You could go cry. You could blame. Who are you going to blame now? You can't blame Kellen Moore. Are you going to blame Dak Prescott? Are you going to hold his feet to the fire? The way y'all been talking so bad about Jalen Hurts in my office. CD Lamb looked like he wanted out. CD Lamb wanted out. CD Lamb don't want no parts of what's going on over there with that offense. Y'all was completely scared and completely shell shocked. Completely scared and completely shell-shocked. And this is a reason why I haven't heard none of y'all say it was y'all year. Because y'all know in January, this ain't, this ain't your place. This ain't your place in January to be playing football right now. Y'all supposed to have been at the crib saving everybody time. Y'all could have been at the crib saving everybody time. But instead, y'all want to come out here like y'all y'all them boys? Y'all nothing. Dolly Parton coming out here, Thanksgiving, Jerry Jones spinning around in his chair, looking like he don't know what, 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 what's today's date. Y'all are buns. And I feel sorry for Mike McCarthy, man. I feel sorry for Mike McCarthy. But it's looking like Mike McCarthy going to be opening up a barbecue chain in the next five months. C McCarthy's. Come down to McCarthy's. Get your pulled pork. Get your brisket. Because Mike McCarthy might be out of a job. Like, they need to go find Dan Quinn might be gone. You think he want to stick around so y'all can fold in the playoffs again? No. No. This is one of the most, this is one of the beautiful, this is beautiful how this is panning out. You're out the door before MLK Day. You should go to work tomorrow. You don't deserve tomorrow off. You don't deserve tomorrow off. You should go to work. You don't deserve the holiday weekend. You lost at home to Jordan Love? We about to go and beat the Bucks. That's what we about to do. Get to the divisional round. You lost in wild card week. You're home already. This is Equipment Manager Brunson.
Can you hear me on the intercom? This is Equipment Manager Brunson. I'm going to need you, Dak Prescott, to have your pads on that table. I'm going to need you, Michael Parsons, to put your helmet on that table. Please put your equipment in the proper place that it needs to be. Your season is over. You could keep the cleats. You could keep the cleats, but we could reuse the pads. For other players, you can have the cleats. Take the cleats home. This is equipment manager Brunson. It's over. Turn in your pads. Turn your pads in. I want the pads on the left, the helmets on the right. Go on vacation. <laughs>